What's going on guys? So I have unboxed this reel from wish.com. Um, ended up opening it months later because it, it took a while to get here first of all. And second of all, when it did get here, I wasn't ready to use it. So I, I spooled it up with 30 pound, 30 pound braid. Um, this bait runner run, ran me about $15, including shipping and everything, end of the day in my hands right now for 15 bucks. Uh, and we're gonna test and see if, you, if, it's a, if it's worth the money or would I rather just never have gotten it in the first place. Hey, 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 hey. Now, this is what I usually use, which is my Shimano bait runner. Shimano is a name brand that I love, that I trust, that I, uh, you know, I have confidence in. Um, and this is what I would usually use. This is what I'm gonna be using today. It looks pretty flashy. Seems pretty okay, sturdy. Let's see how it holds up. So I'm inspecting the bail right here. It's got pretty good spring. It's not loose, it's good. Let's check the drag, how much strength it has. I'm gonna tighten it. Okay, nice and tight. Oh, that's pretty strong, okay. Now let's test this function, the bait running function. Hold it, I push it up. Ah, that feels good, that sounds good. I like the click sounds. Mm -hmm. So this, when I turn it to the right, it'll make the tension harder for this. Oh, it doesn't work that great. It's not very smooth. See, this is really loose and then I twisted it a lot and it's still pretty loose, so it doesn't really adjust that well. Um, this plastic feels, this looks like wood, but I think is actually plastic. Um, it's kind of shaky. Let's see, let's see how this holds up with the fish. How does it feel in your hands? Does it feel? It feels okay. It feels, it doesn't feel horrible. This would be a great rod, this would be a great reel if I were to give it to like my, my cousin Daniel here. It'd be great for him to, to, to get started on. That's my opinion so far. Let's 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 give it a try. Yeah. Both of them, we've got a fish finder rig on it and a piece of our oh. Oh. Dude, I'm catching like that big fish with the small hook, man. Oh yeah? I'm only using small hook. Okay. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, so we both have these fish finder rigs on and I've got a, a piece of the, the squiddy bits, the, the jumbo slabs on here. And I've cut it into strips and put it on here, put a piece of bloodworm like this, and we're gonna cast it out. And see which one gets hit first. Oh, my squid! Yeah, it's on, fish on, fish on! Catfish! Oh my lord, look at this reel, Ben. The reel is not handling it very well. The reel? Look at the reel, it's like bending around. What do you mean? Like it's, this reel I feel like is gonna fall apart if this fish was any bigger. Are you serious? This is, yeah. This is a not very good reel. That's the trunk? Yeah. Nice. Uh oh, fish on. Another catfish. Man. Wow. You see, like, this is starting to bend. Wow. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Woo! Oh, I feel like putting him inside. Nice here. one. Whoa. Whoa. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. Whoa, that's a big one. Oh man, that's You're a big crazy. one. Wow. Take a picture of that. That's huge. There we go. Woo. And let's let's release this guy. Alright. I mean it brought it in. But did you see how this thing was kinda of like warping? Like no, I didn't. it was 
it looked bad. It felt bad, and like this handle started to feel really loose. It, I didn't like it. So you did not like it. I did not like it. I did not like it. Would it, you recommend to a friend? Because okay, it works for this. It works for the kind of fishing I'm doing right now. But if I were doing this and I hit a 40 pound striper or 40 inch striper, I'd be very concerned about this, the shape of this thing. Um, if this handle fell off, how am I supposed to bring that in? And this could be the thing that causes me to lose my fish. But if you're going out and trying to target these big stripers and you have a reel that you're not confident in, it could end in a, a very bad way. You know this, right? Move one. You gotta turn around. Finish him. Hey, you're right. Okay, let's let's give it one more try. Oh! 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 oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, it's fighting. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's fighting. Oh yeah. Jump, 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 jump. Jump! <laughs> more, power, more power like this. <laughs> oh wow! The power! power. The power. Oh. Jump. Oh. jump! Jump! Okay, I think I need a net. He wants the net. Over oh! Whoa, oh, no, that's catfish. not bad. Whoa. Catfish! Whoa. I need a net! Net, please! Woo! Woo, this is a big one! Um, yum, yum, yum. Yeah! Come on, baby. Wow, that's a big one. Wow! Fat one. Dude! On your ultra light reel. Whoa! Yo, this is big! Nice. Nice. It happened while we were sore fighting. Okay, Daniel, we need to sore fight again. This reel is starting to, to, to go bad on me. Wow. What do you mean? Like, this is a cheap reel that, that we got, and um, the handle is starting to come loose, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's, it's just a matter of, like, it's not a great build. That's why I got it for a very cheap price. See, look, it's taking it out. And now I'm on. Good job. Yeah, I'm on. How's that real feel? It incredibly smooth. I have no problem with it. Okay, you want to give it a try, Daniel? Finish him off. Keep, oh, keep tension on the line. Daniel, finish him. Finish him. Finish him. You don't need to do it fast. Just bring him in. More combat. There we go. Swing him up. Look, ready? <laughs> Nice! Woo! Alright. We're catching tons of catfish. We're catching here. tons of catfish. It was a dirty movie. Good tonight. Oh, yeah. Nice. There we go. Let's let this guy go. I caught a much bigger one. Nice job, Daniel. Remember the one we caught on that lake? Oh, yeah. Much bigger than that, right? Yeah, I'll like, This is my standard bait runner reel that I usually use. I ordered this reel off of wish.com a while ago. It didn't show up until not long ago. That's why it took a long time for us to unbox it and actually use it. For me, this upgraded reel right here, this bait runner, is, is very smooth. I've never really had any problems with it. The drag system is very smooth and very sensitive or very not sensitive you want it to be. It's, um, it's a very versatile reel for me. I, I love to use this reel. This reel itself was around two hundred dollars, but all in all, I've had I've had this reel for eight years, something like that. This is my dad's reel that he's he's handed down to me, and I've been using this for a long time. This other reel I just got today in the mail from China, and so far it's been shaky. When I'm reeling in a big fish, this thing starts to go left and right, and look look at just how it sits right here. It's it's just not assembled the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same. It's just, it works. It'll work fine for now, but I don't have confidence in, in using this for something that 
uh, that I'm gonna be trying for like striped bass, like some big striped bass. You don't have confidence in it for eight years? No, I don't have confidence in it past today, almost, even to this point. Um, I don't have confidence in it, period, because... <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's cool. One, it's a brand I've never heard of. Two, it already feels shaky after a few big fish. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be like after 15, 20 big fish. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad you guys could join us for our show. Today we use the um, the jumbo slabs, which is a big sheet of uh, it's a big sheet of squid. It's the entire mantle of it. We cut it into small strips and put those on the hooks, and it worked great. If you want to try some for yourself, that's available at SenkaSkipper.com as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.